Hi guys and welcome to 123MyOT. In this video we will take a look at the Apple MacBook Air 2019. The 2019 MacBook Air is pretty much the same as the 2018 MacBook Air. However the 2019 version brings a lower price tag at $1099 USD for the 128GB storage model. And an updated True Tone display and some small SSD changes and a butterfly keyboard which uses the same updated materials as the 2019 MacBook Pro. Other included features are retina display, force touch trackpad, touch ID, some great sounding speakers, the MacBook Air compact form factor, as well as a modern 8th gen processor and Thunderbolt 3 ports. The colour that we have today is space grey, however the MacBook Air also comes in the colours gold and silver. Onto the accessories, and if we take a look at the paperwork first, we have a quick start guide, a set of colour matched Apple stickers, and warranty information. Next up we have our charging adapter. The model I have here is the Australian New Zealand version, however if you're in the US you will have the US version. This is a 30 watt USB-C charger. You can actually remove the adapter prongs and add in an extension cable or an international wall adapter. And the last accessory in the box is the USB-C charging cable. Although the MacBook Air didn't get the touch bar, it did get Touch ID. And it is the cheapest way of getting Touch ID on the Mac. When you start the setup process, you will be prompted to set up Touch ID. Now you can use this to unlock your MacBook Air as well as authenticate payments and authenticate passwords. Along with the 13.3 inch retina display, you also get a True Tone screen. And hopefully you can see the difference as I toggle True Tone off and on. The display is fantastic, with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. This is the most affordable retina display on the Mac, and it produces around 40% more colour than the older designs. You also get 4 million pixels, which is up from 1 million, on the older models. The display is an IPS display now instead of a TN display, which means it has truer colours and better off-access viewing angles. IPS panels have a slower refresh rate than TN panels, so it means that this display is more suited to design work over something like gaming, for example. The older models also had a wider display bezel, which was aluminium right up to the glass. Now we have an edge-to-edge -edge glass panel, which is also more anti-reflective than the old glossy panel. The MacBook Air also has a butterfly keyboard, which was the same one that debuted on the 2018 MacBook Pro. The great thing about this keyboard is it's quieter, but it also has a membrane under each key which keeps the dust out. This keyboard is a nice upgrade from the old keyboard, as the keys are wider, so that makes them easier to strike. Wider and more stable, they don't wobble around like they did on the old MacBook keyboards. And because the keys don't move around so much, you can type much faster. The keyboard backlighting has also been improved because each key gets its own LED light, which means there is much less bleeding around the side of the keys. And each key is more brightly lit. In terms of the trackpad on the MacBook Air, you get a force touch trackpad which replaces the mechanical trackpads on the older versions. So now we have a larger trackpad surface that responds to pressure thanks to the haptic motor. The trackpad is a little bit smaller than the one on the MacBook Pro, so there's a little bit more room on either side. This is good because it helps with palm rejection, meaning that the mouse doesn't move around when you're typing. On both sides of the keyboard you have a set of front-facing stereo speakers, which are a massive improvement over the older keyboard design. The speakers are 25% louder, and have twice the bass with a much wider stereo sound. They are more immersive and less muffled. Take a listen. If we take a look on the left hand side of the MacBook Air, we have two Thunderbolt 3 ports. These ports can be used for charging as well as 4K displays. On the right hand side of the Mac Air, we have a 3.5 headphone jack for your earphones. To plug in an external display, 
You might need a USB-C to HDMI adapter like this one. You just plug it into the USB-C port on the left and then plug the other end into your external display. Once this is done, you should be good to go. Along the top of the MacBook Air we have the FaceTime HD camera which still records at 720p. You also get an LED indicator and an ambient light sensor. On the underside of the Mac Air you will have a single panel which is held on by pentalobe screws and they are colour matched to the colour of your Mac Air. We also have plastic feet on each corner which protect the underside of the MacBook Air. Again, the ventilation is hidden inside the hinge of the MacBook Air and this time the hinge is integrated into the aluminum unibody. Gone is the black plastic of the old design. On top of the MacBook Air you get the standard polished inset Apple logo. The Apple logo is colour matched along with the MacBook Air text on the front of the display. Now I mentioned the Touch ID button before but here is the button in action. The Mac is locked and with the press of the Touch ID it unlocks itself and it's very fast in doing so. For those that are interested in the Geekbench scores, the MacBook Air brought up a single core score of 3510 and a multi core score of 6957. The battery life is really very good considering it's smaller than the old MacBook Air. And they were able to do this by adding a more efficient 1.6 GHz dual core Intel i5 processor. So you can expect to get about 12 hours of wireless web browsing, which is pretty good among the MacBook range. So if you are looking for a portable laptop that would be good for doing some video editing and designing, then this MacBook Air would be a good choice. However, if you wanted to do some gaming, you might be better off looking elsewhere. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to create custom voice commands on iPhone, iPad or iPod. And do me a favour, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.